Do you guys know of something small, boxy, and secretly more powerful than most full-size desktops? I do. It's the Minis Forum's MSA2. Yeah, we know. At first glance, it looks like a lunchbox for a robot. But don't underestimate it. This thing isn't built to just open Word documents and play YouTube. It's built to flex. At the heart of the MSA2, you've got two monster CPU options. You can opt for the AMD Ryzen 9 7955HX, which is based on Zen 5, or the Ryzen 9 7945HX, which is based on Zen 4. Either way, you're looking at 16 cores and 32 threads. 32 threads, in a machine that's barely bigger than a hardcover book. Both of these chips clock all the way up to 5.4 GHz. That's laptop class silicon, sure, but crammed into a box that weighs just over a kilo. It's like someone shrank a workstation in the dryer. Now, before you start dreaming of ultra settings on Cyberpunk, let us break it to you gently. The integrated GPU here is the Radeon 610M. It'll handle video playback, office work, and even a little light gaming if you're into older titles or indies. But if you're expecting this tiny cube to double as an RTX 4090, nope. Think of it as a brilliant brain, not a heavy lifter at the gym. And here's the fun part, expandability. Most mini PCs don't even know what the word means. The MSA2, on the other hand, gives you a PCIe 4.0 times 16 slot. Okay, technically it runs at times eight, but that's still enough for a proper GPU, a capture card, or even some exotic networking hardware. And if you're the tinkering type, you can split it into dual times four lanes. Try finding that level of flexibility in another mini PC. It just doesn't happen. And the storage? Oh, it's ridiculous. You don't just get one M.2 slot. You get three PCIe 4.0 NVMe slots, and one of them can even take U.2 enterprise drives. We're talking about loading up 15 terabyte SSDs if you really want to go crazy. Imagine running your entire movie collection, your Steam library, and still having room left over for backups, all inside a box you can carry in one hand. Memory is just as generous. Up to 96 gigabytes of DDR5 across two slots. That's DDR5-5600 with the newer Ryzen 9000 chips, or DDR5-5200 with the Ryzen 7000. Either way, you can run a small fleet of virtual machines, chew through giant spreadsheets, or keep 50 Chrome tabs open at once. Well, okay, 40. Let's not tempt fate. And then comes networking, which is where the MSA2 really starts showing off. Instead of giving you a single sad little Ethernet port, it packs two 10 gigabit SFP plus ports plus two 2.5 gigabit RJ45s. That's four Ethernet ports total. This is practically begging to be your home lab, your router, your NAS, or the heart of your office setup. If you've ever wanted to run a virtualized playground in your bedroom, this is the toy. And this is not it. The ports are solid too. On the front, two USB 3.2 Gen 1s, a USB 2.0, a headphone jack, and the power button. Around the back, HDMI 2.1 for 8K at 60 Hz, plus two USB-C ports with DisplayPort 2.0 support. Translation, dual 4K monitors at 144 Hz if you're feeling fancy. Throw in a couple of USB-A Gen 2s and Gen 1s, and you're all set for peripherals. And all of this while being so tiny that it weighs less than 1.4 kilograms. And Minisform did something smart here. The motherboard literally slides out like a drawer. That means upgrades aren't a nightmare. No tweezers, no praying you don't snap a cable. Just pull it out, pop in your new RAM or SSD, and slide it back in. Done. So if you're a hardcore gamer and graphics are everything, you'll either need to add a discrete GPU or look elsewhere. But if you're a developer, an IT pro, or just someone who loves cramming ridiculous power into tiny spaces, the MSA2 is like catnip. Bottom line, the Minis Forum MSA2 is a Swiss army knife of a mini PC. It crams in huge CPU power, crazy networking, big storage, and the expandability to make it your own. So if you're tired of bulky desktops, the MSA2 might just be your next toy. Minis Forum looked at the word mini and said, yeah, but let's make it mighty. And somehow, they pulled it off.